I'm going to set the scene that literally every guy does when he hits the streets to day game. They psych themselves up, warm up, giving compliments and asking for directions. Some throw in some social freedom exercises to try and break that anxiety bubble quicker. But then when it comes to that moment of having conversations, they think long and hard about what they want to say. I've known some guys get way too strategic with what they want to say, as if they're planning a script for a scene in some like romantic movie, and that they are heavily relying on that script playing out exactly as planned. And if that doesn't work, then the whole thing literally goes to sh**. My name is Dan, that dating anxiety guy. And with the last 16 years experience of working behind the veil of the dating industry, today I want to discuss how over planning your conversations with women could actually be making your anxiety worse. And as always, if you like what you hear, hit like and subscribe to stay up to date on future content. And it helps me to reach more men with their anxiety too. So look, I absolutely get that by planning a conversation, you feel as though it will go smoother and very likely materialize a result for you. For any guy putting themselves out there, they do want to make sure that their time isn't wasted. And as a good friend once said to me, you want to make sure that the juice is worth the squeeze. No guy likes to experience rejection over and over and feel like they're failing or feeling unwanted. So the caveat of that is to go into a conversation with a script in mind to follow. The problem is, is that's not how conversations work. Considering at this point in time, there are billions of people on this planet. Everyone has grown up with different cultures and backgrounds of sorts, meaning you could try to have the same conversation with everyone and have a very different conversation with each. You might talk about similar topics, but the variables will constantly change. Different opinions are brought in, personal tastes and interests and so on. Which means that having a script in mind is absolutely near impossible to follow as no one person will ever be the same. So the anxiety here is isn't so much the fear of talking to strangers, it's more the fear of the unknown. What do I say if she says this? Am I gonna know what she's talking about? What if she doesn't know what I'm talking about? Can I express myself right? Guys' minds literally start spiraling over this. And this over prediction of the future is exactly what stresses them out. So what can you do about it? Well, for starters, remember that most conversations with people are all relying on improv. Think about how you would normally talk to your family and friends. You don't sit there and take notes to yourself. I must say this first once mum holds eye contact. Or plan every moment on how a conversation is gonna play out. When she says, this I must tell that joke. It would be absolutely crazy. You would just literally go over to that person and start a conversation. Now, friends and family, to be fair, are very different than talking to women that you're attracted to, which is why I'm gonna give you three things to remember when you do. The first is just to have a little bit of faith in yourself. You know how to have a conversation, and as long as you can keep your focus on the women that you're talking to, you will be absolutely fine. If you're nervous, mention it. And if the situation feels a little strange, then call out the elephant in the room. It's absolutely okay. Most women really appreciate a guy coming over to give them a compliment. And if they really like you, they'll help take some of the pressure off by asking your questions back. And if you still don't believe me, try and experience a day of going out and solely being altruistic to people and giving compliments. You'll be amazed to find that some women will be absolutely open to having a conversation with you, even though you had planned not to. Next, try to remember that you're conversations don't need to be that wild or crazy. Simplicity is key here. Unlike the old school days where infields needed to look flashy, you have nothing to prove to people. And trust me when I say, boring is better. Ask her what she's up to and what her interests are. 
simple things. But what does come with time and practice is learning how to have conversations that don't feel like interviews. And to do that, with every girl that you meet, try to imagine that they are a really old friend. Or better yet, pretend that you're speaking to your girlfriend who maybe you, for whatever reason, you haven't seen in over a week. What's great here is assuming rapport can create rapport and make feeling like talking to a stranger feel like talking to a lover instead. The last point that I'll share is to always show curiosity to every woman that you speak to. Find out who they are and show interest in the things that they have interest in and ask them about it. People love talking about the things that they enjoy and if you can explore that, you will very easily have a free flowing conversation. And as a great exercise that I give to all of my clients, why not set yourself the rule of finding out three interesting things about the women that you're speaking to before you're allowed to ask for the phone number. And what I like about this is that it's a great exercise that combines all three of those points. So try it out and let me know in the comments below, what things did you discover and ask women to justify you asking asking for the phone number. I hope this was helpful for you. Like and subscribe if it did. And remember, you don't need to be planning your conversations. Just stay curious, learn to enjoy every conversation that you have, and I promise you, you will be absolutely fine. Laters, guys.